I need to assemble my reap wrap now, so I'm going to head out to my local home goods store, my hard local hardware store, so I can get all the nuts and bolts and rods and washers and other things. Maybe bearings? I don't know. I don't think they'll have bearings. And then I can come back and we can sit down and assemble the reap wrap. It's going to be awesome. Threaded rod. Quite convenient, they got the threaded rod right next to the smooth rod. It's very convenient. Now, to find what we got. I need some nuts and I need some bearings. Let's go get some. Ooh, nuts! And washers! Oh yeah, and I only need six, and it comes in a pack of six. How convenient! And I got some washers. Oh yeah! Coincidentally enough, all this stuff is in the same freaking aisle. I don't know. Maybe it's like the reef wrap aisle. Whew. Got my bolts. Got my nuts. All done. Now this step isn't necessary, but highly recommended. <sighs> Alright YouTube, look at my pile of stuff. Got myself a level, got myself all the rods, nuts, some washers, bolts, got different blades for a hacksaw so I can pack these up, get them to the right sizes. So pretty much, this is all the hardware needed to make a rip rap, rip rap Huxley. Yeah, it's Huxley. I actually remember it this time. Quit laughing at me. Ooh, it's magnetic. Alright. Stop measuring these rods, and I'll start hacking away with the hacksaw. Ready to see the worst way to cut something ever? Alright, this is what I got set up for my uh, cutting station. Put my bar right through one of those notebook rings. Then I got my cut line right there. And I get this. Yep. That's my foot. That is my foot.
so I'm going to torch you guys too. I'm going to finish the rest on my own. Okay. When measuring this threaded rod, it's going to have a hard time going all the way around the same length because these threads, they actually get, you know, they go down. So what I do is just mark the top of the thread and then just spin it around and then mark the next thread that's at the same length and then in between those two marks you got your cut line so you already got a groove made just in the threads you can see those two black dots or black lines so now I can just cut in between those and that's eight inches both sides of that rod after maybe hour and a half two hours just cutting, get all those links done. Whew. My hands smell like freaking zinc. I smell bad. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, love. So now I have all the pieces together, all the hardware for my Huxley. And now I can start putting them all together getting the plastic pieces all together with my metal rods. Man. Who think cutting metal is such hard work? I don't know. God. I'm going to go take a break.